are any of the big gaming news sites untrustworthy? I was just wondering if any of the bigger gaming news sites are considered untrustworthy, and if so, why? A friend of mine said that some sites will be paid by publishers to make a good review on a game and disregard performance issues or something like that. Is this really true? And if so, which one should you read with a grain of salt? I actually, this is a good topic because we did a channel called Otaku Wars. Remember? Yeah, Doing we, our would, podcast and we talking would look about at stuff. articles. And we would report a lot of articles from IGN. And a lot of them, people would tell us we were wrong in the comments. And we'd look back and then IGN would either change the article or, or they were actually like wrong in the first one. Or just but completely we were reading disappear. Them, a lot of them word for word or paraphrasing word for word. Like the most popular one is you can still go to that channel and somehow this one blew up in popularity and st I think still gets views to this day. Still a little bit here and there, yeah. Yeah, it's one about cyberpunk where originally, I don't even remember what it is. They said that you could get something, something in cyberpunk and it was when the anime was coming out, remember? And I don't remember. I, re I, can't. I, remember, I remember the two videos, yeah. So in other words, I would say IGN is a little, <laughs> uh -huh. but I want to say... What was the question at first? They said untrustworthy. I wouldn't yeah, say that. Yeah, which, which gaming sites are untrustworthy? I would say that, like, I wouldn't say untrustworthy, but I say the bigger they are, the more likely they are to make mistakes because human error, mm -hmm. and there's more humans working, you know, making these articles than just... So, like, I also do find, I don't know if it's because they're getting paid or, you know, maybe it's just different tastes, but I also feel like they score games harsher. And I used to like look at the reviews, but sometimes I would ignore them, play the game anyways, and love it, even if it was like a low score or a high score. I usually watch YouTube people talk about it. And like, even there's some games where I'll still watch like YouTubers, you know? And they'll, they'll be harsh. They'll be harsh, but like I'll be looking at the gameplay and I'm like, well, this looks fun to me. And I play it, and there's been games that I like like that. And there's also been games that some people like, and I'm like, this game definitely doesn't look like to me. You know? So. I say definitely take any kind of news with a grain of salt and do your own research, not just gaming, mm. anime, and anything written, you know? Yeah, it's funny because IGN was the first thing that popped up in my mind. <laughs> I know, it's all, that, that's why right when, like, as soon as you were reading, I was like, oh, IGN Cyberpunk yep. right. that, that still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And the funny thing is we even left a comment on there saying, like, hey, we were wrong. Yeah. And we pinned it to the top, and people were still. And I think we even changed the description in the title, saying this is wrong. I don't remember. I don't remember what we changed it to, honestly. I remember that at one point we're just like, okay, whatever. They're going to be mad, and they're, they're going <laughs> to. And they were. And they were like, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. I kind of stopped like trusting IGN when it came to reviews, mainly like on movies and TV shows. Funny thing is, though, I still use IGN as, like, I use a lot of sources, but still every day in the morning, I'm on IGN for about, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes scrolling. Yeah, uh, I think another one is probably going to be CBR. I don't remember if they do gaming or not, or not. I think they do. They do some anime, though, don't they? Yeah, they, they do. Articles I, I, yeah, um, but I think most of the stuff that I would see on there, I think they would just kind of assume some things, mm -hmm. and they would... That's not really good if you're doing new stuff. Like, you should be looking up stuff that's, like, you know, factual. So it's just like, okay, I'm not saying it's not possible, but at the same time, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Plus, you should always be checking more than one thing anyways. Because, like, for example, if I scroll through IGN and it says, hey, reveal trailer just released for this. I'm like, oh, they're making this game. I'll look at like their article for a second, then I'll go to YouTube and see the trailer for myself and see mm -hmm. the comments on there. Or different example reviews. I mean, I'll see what IGN put as a score for the review, why they put it, and I'll watch like two or three different people's point of view on uh, YouTube. I'll like look at the comments and see what people are saying about it. And you know, sometimes games are just judged harshly because people are like, "That looks lame." I'm like, okay, but looks cool to me yeah at the end of the day if it looks looks good to you then yeah go for it and play it and then there's other times where people have saved me because they're like do not get this this game is broken you honest you spend most of your time trying to get it to work or there's some people who say hey be warned that it starts off really fun 
and then it just loses. And then, you know, once you see that six times from six different people, you're like, okay, this game really falls off after a certain point. But that's why I also like demos coming back as big as they did, because demos have come back. Oh, okay. And uh, you can just try the game and see if you like it yourself. Yeah, dude, I did, um, I think I did a Fable demo one time back on the Xbox 360. Fable is one of the best RPGs. Yeah, bro, I pl- I played that because some <laughs> friends recommended it to me, and they're like, "Oh, dude, there's a there's a demo you can play," and I'm like, oh, "Okay, maybe I'll check it out," and I did, and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, though, I didn't buy the game. <laughs> I think because I was like broke, so I was like, "Ah, oh, I can't, I can't get it." But it was it was fun for what I played. And then I remember one time I actually got, um, what was it? Uh, I got one of the Assassin's Creeds game for free. Yeah. Which still blows my mind to this day. <laughs> the thing is, too, if you're good with your news and you check a lot of places, too, you can, you can actually be a smart saver. Because, mm. for example, what I do, I'll use Forspoken as an example. Forspoken was a game that unanimously everybody hates. <laughs> I'm sure there's a select few people who like it. But I played the demo and I thought it was cool, but then everybody else hated the demo. And then I was like, okay. Let's see what happens. This is why you don't pre-order games. Then it came out, and everybody was still dogging on it. So I was like, the reasons they're dogging on it, I was like, mm, they really don't matter to me as long as I still like fighting and like doing the, like, the exploration and stuff. Because like a lot of it was like, I mean, there's, there's there, a lot of things they were complaining about. But were like, their points valid? or Some points, yeah. Well, I, they all were probably valid to somebody because they're their opinion but like for example one of the bad things was the dialogue okay and how people were getting annoyed by the wrist talking to the girl and like how the girl always had to like have these like quirky swears or comments or something but the thing is that to them it was bad to me i'm like oh that doesn't matter to me i'd probably laugh at them you probably were laughing your butt i'd be off. laughing my ass about how cheesy they are or how dumb it sounds but i'd still be fun fun playing the game you know but my point is I saw everybody dogged on that game. Everybody hated it. So I'm like, oh, dude, if I just wait, you know, a couple months, this game would be like 20 bucks. Was it? It was, actually. Nice. <laughs> I didn't buy it yet or play it yet. Oh, dang. It because, not because the comments ended up winning, because by the time I got to 20 bucks, there actually was a couple other games that came out, and I got lost into those games. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're all like, yep, these are all the crappy games that are 20 bucks. Take your pick. And you're like, Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, yeah. what's that? <laughs> so, but yeah, so, you know, you should always be doing that. What's your opinion? Or um, you honestly, a little bit. honestly, I would probably, if you're not trusting any of, like, the big news sites, I would probably check out the actual official pages of the things. Because, like, for example, when it comes to anime, animes, or I don't know about all of them, but some of them do have, like, their own websites that you can go to yeah. where they post about their news and stuff, maybe maybe their production stuff. And I assume for some games, that is also the same. Oh, and yeah. when I'm checking out Beyblade content, there's an actual official Beyblade website. So for news... There's lots I, of communities you can go look at. Too. Yeah, there's also communities too. So I know like for news, when I'm looking at official Beyblade content, I'll go to the official Japanese Beyblade website because I know the news is going to be official on that website. And then if I'm ta- if I'm looking at stuff like let's say I'm looking at something on on Reddit, then I'll try to double check to make sure something is true, or something has been leaked. Uh, I'll probably be like, oh okay, it, who knows if it's true or not? We'll yeah. wait till like an actual like official thing I'll tell drops. You, if it's anime, go to Reddit. They know if that shit's true or not. <laughs> you know how many times I'd try to see if they're making another season of the show. I get misled by so many articles that say, oh, season confirmed, but nothing in the article says that it's actually confirmed. <laughs> Bro, like, there have been so many times where I'm like, oh, is this anime season two, is it confirmed? And the article will be like, well, it's not officially confirmed, but if it does get confirmed, it'll be out, like, during this time, most likely. And I'm like, that doesn't freaking tell me anything. I'm so sick of those I swear, articles so every much. Every <laughs> single article says that. <laughs> So I'm just like, okay, if I know there's a second season out, two things are probably going to happen. Either you'll see something on the last episode, or 
You'll probably see it on Twitter or Crunchyroll. Yeah, I, like I said, the fanboys too. Like, you go to the fan sites or the communities. Yeah, there you go. You'll find somebody who's way more obsessed with it than you, and they scour the internet for any information. <laughs> they do all the legwork. <laughs> yeah, honestly, now that I mentioned, that's another thing you could go go to. Go to the freaking official Twitter pages if you can find them. Yeah, that's why I, it's best just to look at multiple sources. Exactly. Oh, I do want to say one note before we end too. Is that uh, especially when it comes to reviews, always find at least one or two videos or something to read on the opposite opinion. So, like, if everybody mm. loves the game, try to find one that hates the game. And if everybody hates the game, try to find one that loves the game. I say that because everybody could hate the game, and they couldn't be they could be for completely different reasons that don't vibe with your gaming style. And then if you watch that one person who likes the video, you'll realize. Oh, those are all things I like in the game. Like, I'm okay with this game. Or the vice versa. Everybody could love this game. And then you watch the one person who hates it. And you're like, oh, I really suck at Souls-like games. How come nobody told me this game was super hard and I was going to hate my life? 